So in this part of the layout, we need to add some lines uh, just to separate the information out visually. And um, I'm going to go back up to the layers panel. I'm going to collapse the text layer. We don't need to interact with that. So I'm going to click on the padlock. So that's now locked and then left click on the layer called images. We're going to go across the tools panel and click on what's called the line tool just underneath the type tool there. And before we draw anything, we need to make sure that this doesn't have a fill because strokes are just a line. So there's nothing to fill them with. So I'll set the fill to none, hit the return key, click on the stroke drop down menu. And we're going to choose gray 46 and then hit return. Now the weight of that stroke at the moment is set to one point. We're going to change that to 0 0.5 points. So um, click on that one. And then I'm going to hover your cursor at the very bottom of that column that contains all the electoral college information and then click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag across to the right hand side so that it creates a horizontal line. Now, it is possible that you could move that up and down by accident. So if you want to make sure that line is perfectly horizontal, keeping your finger held down on the left mouse button, of course, hold down the shift key. And that when you drag in a certain direction in InDesign, it will force something to such as a line to snap to that particular angle horizontally or vertically, for example. Now, at this point, let go of the mouse and then take your finger off the shift key on the keyboard. You can repeat the same step by taking a cursor just here. Click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down, drag across again, hold down the shift key and drag right to the right hand side of that column. Let go of the mouse and finally hover your cursor level with the text frames left edge for the one that reads Biden. Click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down, drag all the way down again, hold down the shift key to make this a vertical line this time and then end at the bottom of the margin where we drew the first line. Let go of the mouse, let go of the shift key and then switch back to your selection tool. Click away. You can then press the W key and see there we've got the, the makings of a very basic grid. Now I can see from here that we have, don't really have the same amount of room between the Biden copy and the Trump one. So I'm going to hover over and left click on that line and use the cursor key on the keyboard just to nudge that down a little bit just to share out the space a little bit better in there. Yeah, that's better. And then I'm going to click away from there and go up to the file menu, choose place and pick the grayscale images for Biden and Trump. This time we don't need to see the import option, so I'll turn those off. Click on open. Now there are no placeholder frames for these. So what I'm going to do in this case is hover my cursor over the line here, click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag across. And then just so my cursor reaches that, that vertical line we drew, let go of the mouse. This will load the Trump one, hover my cursor over the very top left corner of that box, click and hold down, drag right down to the bottom line and then let go of the mouse. To remedy the positioning of these, I'm going to click on the image of Biden. I'm going to zoom in a lot closer so we can see this switch to my selection tool, click and drag and move that upwards like so, and then hold down the space bar, click on the image of Trump, drag that handle just to the side, and then the bottom handle, drag that upwards and it will crop the artwork. Now, again, those two photographs are actually in front of the lines and that's because anytime you add anything to InDesign, you'll be adding new content in front of anything that's already existing in the file. So I'll hover over the image of Biden, left click on it, hold down the shift key, shift and left click on the image of Trump. If I show you that in the layers panel, those are our two images, Trump and Biden. Now they're the highest, most placed child layers. And that's why they're appearing, the white portions of those photographs in front of the lines. But if I go to object, arrange and select center back, they move right down the bottom of the list in the layers panel and they now sit behind the gray lines that we drew and that just finishes off the composition nice and neatly. I'll collapse the images layer and go to file and choose save.